Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Ham Radio Dude. Zygu has come out with the X6100 firmware update, or the first one to the public, and it does fix a few issues, so let's talk about those briefly, but then I want to jump into showing you how to perform the firmware upgrade. I briefly want to show you the eight things that this firmware fix upgrades or fixes uh, as far as bugs go. They added a couple of features such as the three levels of spectrum bandwidth adjustment, which I think is going to be nice because currently we only have one spectrum bandwidth level and you can't change it. So they're becoming a little more uh, versatile, if you will, in, in the things that they're doing with this radio. But let's go ahead and show you how to install the firmware so you could do it. First, we actually need to get the latest firmware. So click on support in Radioddity's website, click on Zygu. And once that loads, we're going to page down until we find X6100, where we should get software and I see a firmware update that I'm going to download. Once downloaded, I'm going to extract the file to my desktop just to make things easier for everybody watching. And let's go ahead and open up that folder that I've extracted. And you're going to see that there's a couple of different files. At this point, open up the folder that says SD tool and then the program Rufus 3.1.0 and accept any administrative privileges that it asks you to allow. If you haven't already done so, plug in a micro SD card larger than four gigabytes to the side of the computer that you're okay with it being formatted, meaning you're okay losing data on it. And then we're gonna select that device on the top of this screen and then it's gonna ask for a boot selection. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the select button. And when we go over to select, we're gonna see quite a few different options. And these are for the firmware upgrades. Well, remember my firmware upgrade is on my desktop or that's where I extracted it. So I'm gonna go find that folder and I'm gonna select the X6100 IMG uh, compressed file. As you can see now, I have that compressed file selected. All I'm really gonna to have to do here is click on start. Don't unplug the micro SD card. You might get an error that says, hey, are you sure you wanna format this because you're gonna lose all your information? You can click yes and then it's gonna write the image. We'll be right back. Once Rufus is completed writing to the memory card, you're gonna take the memory card out of the actual computer and we're gonna use it on the radio here in just a second. So next, what we have to do with the radio off, it's very important for the radio to be off, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plug in the SD card. And you could do so by having the contacts facing up and on the side of the radio, there's an SD card slot and just guide it in. Now you'll hear and feel a click it will still protrude, but rest assured that it's actually, it's actually in place. So go ahead now and we're gonna turn on the radio. A text prompt will appear with the logo and the system should start to upgrade automatically. This process is gonna take about two minutes. When you're updating the firmware on your Zygu X6100, it's, the screen's gonna look a little bit like this. And this is just basically what they call a Linux terminal. And the Linux terminal is going through this process of copying and configuration files and doing certain things. So you can see now it's powering off. Uh, once it's done powering off, quite simply, we're just gonna take the memory card out of our radio and we're gonna turn the radio back on. So that was the first of two firmware flash upgrades. Uh, that was for the actual system itself, and now we're going to basically be upgrading some software that, that runs the radio. The radio turns on. We're going to turn the volume down here, and we're going to click on the general tab, or button, right here. And we're going to hit this menu that shows up down here. Because you might not have had that menu before, you might have been somewhere else like here. So again, general button, and then we're going to click on system settings. You're already going to see that we have a new uh, option loaded, which is system info, and we could tap on system info and it'll tell us things about the app that we're using and so forth. But we're going to click on firmware upgrade now. When we do that, we're going to be prompted with a firmware upgrade notice, and it's going to say that firmware that we just downloaded, 2021-120701. Now, it's also important to note that I had a USB plugged in the first time I did this upgrade, and the firmware upgrade kept failing. So... Keep that in mind uh, and go ahead now. You can see it's selected. You're just gonna hit this upgrade button. Also, I have my power cable plugged in just in case. So I hit upgrade and what happens is it's gonna start erasing the flash and just after a moment or two, it'll upgrade the firmware for us. So 
steps. See, right here is this progress bar. And once the progress bar is done, it should actually give us the option now to quit and then to exit. And that's it. Our firmware is completely upgraded here on this radio. Now that we're upgraded, let's go ahead and just take a look and see if we could find some of those settings that they've upgraded. So if we go to setting one, not too much looks like it's changed. If we go to setting two, not too much looks like it's changed, but display setting, right? And display setting should be where we are able to hit our span here, which is new. So thank you, Zygu. And we could do 50 or 100 or 25. So if I do 25, I should get a smaller window on my waterfall display. And uh, I believe I do. You could see 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 12 on each side. Where if I go back here and I go and I increase the span to uh, 50. Okay, you have to hit down to go 50. And I click this OK. You can see now it's 25 on each side. And then finally, I could also adjust it here. 100 on each, or 50 on each side, which is 100K. So I have three different levels of bandwidth I can select now to on the waterfall, which is kind of nice. Uh, but there were the other options as well, and we'll continue to play with those. But that's how you upgrade the firmware on your Zygu or Shagu X6100. I hope this was a useful tutorial for you. And if it was, uh, consider hitting that subscribe button. Could really appreciate it. I'm Ham Radio Dude. Until next time, 73.